Welcome back to Let's Enter the Gungeon, Burning Dog fans. Wanted to start this episode off by giving a shout out to Torik00, who uh, left a comment saying, Hey, good luck getting your bullet legs back, and also clarifying that this melted rock item we're looking at right now is a reference to another roguelike called Nuclear Throne, so don't worry about that flying over everyone's heads. Yes, I've never played Nuclear Throne, so I have no idea what it means when it says that this, that this rock is a testament to one poor soul whose agony was so great that it still echoes in the bodies of the freshly deceased. I'm also noticing all these items I apparently haven't gotten in the background. It doesn't tell me anything about the aged bell, the ammo belt, explosive decoy, etc., etc. I like that it's just a, a log with a stick of dynamite in it. Like, this decoy is just a log. I do notice that I've already found, of course, some intri intriguing names. The Ammo Synthesizer, the Heart Synthesizer, and the Armor Synthesizer. Uh, where was it? <sighs> Meat bun. Man who lives his whole life without eating a pork bun never truly lives. Um, Ice bombs, those sound all interesting. There was one up here I liked called the Prime Primer. That doesn't mean anything to me, but I found it interesting anyway. And this one, of course, the Master of Unlocking. I can't tell you what that is or what it does. I can tell you that it's a reference to Resident Evil 1, where Jill Valentine is referred to as the Master of Unlocking. And I'm even more confident of that because the item appears to be the beret that Jill Valentine wears in that game. We've been staring at the Ammonomicon for long enough. Let's go shoot some dudes. When I walk straight up, it kind of looks like I'm riding a broom. Thanks for the gun. Ooh, chest. Air shotgun. Oh yes, because it is a fish tail. The siren. That's a good name. Let me just go ahead and check this. The siren's watery blasts can be a lifesaver when faced with toxic pools or patches of flame. It shoots water. That means all I have to do is find somewhere to use to uh, put out a fire. Dark in here. Another. Where are all these chests coming from? Oh right, you need. Fuck, I forgot you need keys for all of them. Let's just do this instead of going down the sh the shameful corridor. Wrong side of the room, you dumbass. Yeah, that's right. He's got stuff on his mind. Clearly, no one comes here without something on their mind. I have a feeling that no one can hear the description of what the gun that kills the past can do without immediately thinking of a mistake in their lifetime that they would erase if they could. Now I'm lucky, I don't think mine is worthy of, you know, venturing into a dungeon and getting myself killed over. Hot damn! Aha! There it is. Oh, it's always that. Huh. I guess I'll just go back then. Or was I? Here, literally, yes, but no, I guess I was done. I have no idea how to use the blanks, I don't remember what the button is. Pardon me a moment. Well, that would explain why I didn't uh, do it by accident while trying to remember the dodge button earlier. Uh, you have to click both sticks in. 
I'm not sorry about your barrels. Deal with it. Hey, my helmet comes back. I wasn't sure about that. You know, being a uh, sort of archetype of the Space Marine cliche, I'd say that this guy, uh, like the Master Chief, probably never takes his armor off. No! How is my nemesis a bird? I mean, it's a pretty good Metal Gear reference, I will give you that. But man! I don't know how that works. Shotgun, for the record. Minimal. Oh, that's not that bad. Ah! Uh, yes! Of course. And there's nothing there. It wouldn't be a reference to Vulcan Raven without that happening at the end. Camera, say cheese. And it's a gun. A camera brought to the gungeon by a journalist. Oh, rest in peace. The camera is shaped enough like a gun to survive in the gungeon's depths. Are, are you fucking kidding me? Uh, go ahead. Take a selfie of the uh, the dead with the dead uh, nest. <laughs> huh. Oh, aren't we clever? Where was the thing I needed to? Oh, wait, no. Where's next? I don't actually remember what to do. Now. Okay. So I was expecting like a big vent in the ground or something. Maybe it's this thing up here. Okay, that's just where I came in. It's not going to. Shrine to an old gunslinger, there is an inscription. Kill your past. You've already damned your future. The rest is worn away. So the, the use of the word gunslinger there it, uh, brought me back to a conversation I had the other day where I was talking about the new Remnant game in which I uh, <laughs> said to a friend, that the, the two classes I'm aware of they've revealed so far are the Handler, which is a pet class of the dog, and the Gunslinger, who I described as a martial artist who has a black belt in gun. Ah, oh, that's why I was confused. I thought that door just closed because uh, it was a boss fight. Why did I think I came in from that direction? Because I did last time, that's why.
Down to the chamber. Gungeon proper. So I guess the Lead Lord is meant to be whoever the first boss is. Huh. I'm thinking I don't have 350 in reserve. Let's go with the infinite one for a while. I have used a lot of that ammo. I guess it works eventually. But it is, in fact, not shooting bullets, so, uh... For fuck's sake, man. No! I think it would stop without me flipping the table first. I did not think that through all the way. <laughs> it is a hell of a good sound effect for, you know, racking the slide. Oh no. Focus on every enemy at once is very difficult for me. I'm used to prioritizing in a fight. God of War, I would straight up ignore dudes if there was a more dangerous enemy around. Fuck. Oh, man. <laughs> Someone already shot that one. Probably me. other side. It's one of those. Sure, sure, sure. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Hello? A donut! Oh. What's that thing for the thing? Huh. And I can't nearly afford it, but... Is that an enemy? Would that be slavery? Sorry, buddy, I am broke as hell. If you get hit, lay on the ground and die. The map is helpful, giving you know how to read one. Never figured it out myself. That's why I run this shop. If you completely ran out of ammo, switch to the gun you brought with you. It's crap, but it doesn't quit. Oh, hey, buddy. You got anything for me? combination of the pimply-faced teen from, uh, The Simpsons and, uh, Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. Um! Oh, wow, I hate that guy. Ah! Okay, that's all. No, it doesn't! It wasn't falling, he's... Right, they levitate. Who the fuck are the bullet fish, and why are they such a problem? Regular enemies. No, that's bosses. Oh, there's those guys. Rubber can. Yeah, I was right about that. Non-issue. And this asshole over here, the king bullet. Bullat, sorry. Bullet shark leaves a wake of bullets. Yeah, that would do it. No accident. Oh, uh, Jaws. This was no accident. When the mayor is trying to dismiss all the, uh, the issues. You know, the worst part of that is that, for nostalgia's sake, they recast that guy in one of the, uh, the Jaws sequels. Which means that after that fiasco, he got re-elected. Oh. 
Yes, on second thought, I don't actually want to be in that uh, corridor with all those bullets. Say cheese! Ah! It doesn't do anything. This is really effective, look at that. I don't remember. Ow! I need more bullets, anyway. For the other guns. Kind of feels like the music is going twice right now. No. He just knows where I am. I mean, let me just keep charging. Soldier, you take five. I will go with off-brand Han Solo. I'm also very fond of uh, the Hunter. And whatever their deal is with the, uh, the gun that looks old but is new or something. Is that guy still there? What does that guy say? Why does he have that symbol up in the upper right on his forehead? Try to do remember that the store where you buy things to add to the thing, to the uh, the, the the collection. Oh. Break your empties for you and get gone. Is that a pair of sunglasses immediately to my left, or is that like a bra? Because obviously the convict is the coolest person here. like to do this, uh, but, uh, the convict also strikes me as a person who gives absolutely no fucks. So she could very much be the, nope, that's a busy day, I'm gonna leave this here. Heart locket. Heart lunchbox. Box. Mailbox. Flash ray. Alright, let's get the heart locket. I don't know what it'll do, but I can buy it. Wait. Check up here. A damaged robot little friend. I am uncertain as to my purpose here. I have to admit the stuffed bullet can is kind of fucked up. Like putting those guys on display is a little bit messed up. Heart locket unlocked. Oh, that must be where these things in here came from. Heart Locket has joined the shootout. Nice. Screenshot? No, I didn't get it. Rogue special, underhanded and efficient. I do like the, the metaphors for the users in there. This hip shooter has been known to fire half-cocked and often gets itself into more trouble than it can handle. Oh, there's the timer. Actually, it was in the wrong section there. Was that a gradient? It was. Okay, just checking. That feels important, but I don't know how. Damn it! Stop shooting that. I'm guessing if I scroll around, I will find the heart. No, it's a friendship cookie. It's an adorable thing to find, don't get me wrong, but... Huh. 
like that it has buttons for eyes. It's a nice touch. Oh, I was wondering about that. Shoot through, sure. Uh, yes, good. Resourceful rat. That's what it stood for. A new leg. More items in here. Pink guan stone. Backup gun. It appears to be uh, covered in tape. I like that. Like a tape to your back. Ah, there it is. The heart locket. The fuck is that? No, it is a television. Okay. All right. I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play, or sorry, Let's Enter the Gungeon. This is a side series and doesn't get the usual title. <laughs> uh, see you next time, guys. Later!